Grace, I'm the Burke, and I do things. And in today's video, I'm going to continue my top five series. So I started this a month or so ago. I made a video talking about my top five favorite products from the brand Essence. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about my top five favorite products from the brand Catrice. I did ask you guys which brand you were interested in seeing, and Catrice seemed to have the most interest in my last video. So definitely let me know in the comments which brand you would like to see next. And in this video, I will apply all five products onto my face as I talk about them. So if that is something that you're interested in and would like to see, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so the very first product I'm going to use today is a foundation. It is a very good mattifying foundation. I don't love mattifying foundations, but this is one that I feel like doesn't make me look super dry. My biggest issue is they don't have the greatest shade range. I think maybe there are new ones. When I bought this from Ulta, they only had four colors at the time, and this is the shade Rose Beige, which isn't the greatest shade for me, but we will make do with it. So I did put a dewy primer on today. This is the Wet n Wild Dewy Primer. So for me, whenever I use something mattifying, I usually like to do that underneath. My biggest gripe is I'm not crazy about the whole dropper thing. It's not my favorite way to apply foundation in general, but beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> Would much rather have it in a pump if I could have my way. But I feel like this is one that's really good at just looking skin-like. It's almost more of a satin finish, I want to say. But the coverage is really good. I would say it's high medium and you can build it up to full, for sure. Since it's more of a serum-y lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which is really nice for something that has such high coverage. One of the reasons I had to wait to film this video was because this foundation I can only wear when I'm self-tanned, so I had to wait for like the perfect moment <laughs> to be able to film it or else we would not have been matching at all. But there it is. The foundation right after application, and you can see with the dewy primer, it just looks like a really nice natural finish. So my second product that I love from Catrice is the Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I talk about this all the time on my channel. This is nothing new here. I've gone through multiple tubes of this. The shade I have is, I believe, 010. It's a little bit light for the current foundation I'm wearing, but that's okay. We can work with it. I will say this one is a very mattifying concealer. So a lot of the times what I do is I mix in something a little bit more hydrating so it doesn't super dry out my under eyes, but for drugstore pricing, it has really, really good coverage. And I don't find it as drying as the e.l.f. concealer. That one is harder for me to wear on its own because, whew, that is super mattifying. That one reminds me a lot more of Shape Tape. This one I feel like I have a lot more wiggle room when it comes to blending. I feel like I can get really, really good coverage. So. Before we get to the next product, I'm going to throw on some more of my makeup, and then we will get to product numero three. Okay, and I'm back. So I tried to go really easy with the powder. I only tried to powder like under my eyes and then where I'm going to bronze and stuff, and I used the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder for that. For my waterline, I used the Makeup Geek Brown Eyeliner. For brows, I used the CoverGirl Thin Brow Pencil with the ABH Clear Brow Gel. And then for eyeshadow, I just used one shadow. This is the NARS Duo in Sarabaya. And I just kind of plopped some of this shade on my lid and blended it up into the crease. I might add some bronzer in too, since bronzer is our next favorite from Catrice. So this is the Sun Lover Bronzer, and this is the shade Sun Kissed Bronze. This was in my products. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on because, let's see, it is a baked bronzer and it is almost like completely flat, but I am such a big fan. I think it's kind of supposed to be like the hourglass bronzers that have like the luminosity like within them, but it just, mm. I have been loving this bronzer for a very long time. I just think it looks so pretty. And I was thinking with the one shade kind of eyeshadow look, we could maybe blend a little bit of this into the crease, but this is just one of those products where I can't believe that it's just like a super, super affordable product. And then what I can do is take just a little fluffy brush here, and then just the tiniest bit, 
as a nice transition crease shade. And there you have it. So now I'm gonna throw on a little bit of blush and then we're gonna go on to product number four. Okay, so for blush, I used the Jouer Rose Gold Duo and I honestly mixed both shades together today. This is a mini, I'm a big fan, I love it. It's been in a favorites video before. So, number four, I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to say the Catrice Dewy Fixing Spray. So, I am ready. This product is honestly, whew, we are dewy right now. This product honestly is what kind of replaced Fix Plus in my life. To me, this is the best product I have found as far as letting all the powders kind of seep in and melt together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of let this dry for a second, throw on some mascara, and then we can talk about my fifth and final favorite product from Catrice. Okay, so considering I'm wearing a mattifying foundation, I didn't put any highlight on, which I, I did intentionally, so you could see kind of the impact of that spray. Like, this is, I, it's just, it looks nice and healthy, at least to me. And if you are not crazy, you know, sometimes I get a little concerned about my forehead being too shiny. I'll just take whatever brush I used to powder and just tap it out a little bit just to make it look a little less shiny. But other than that, on to product number five. This was in my September favorites. It is a lip balm. I am obsessed with this lip balm. You're going to think it looks really nasty because I've used the heck out of it. <laughs> it is messy. This is the Catrice Volumizing Lip Balm. I think it comes in a shade. This shade is called Graceful Lips. Like, this is, this is what used products look like. Honestly, like, that is all that I have left. But it, it has a very, very, very slight, like, tingling, volumizing feeling to it. But for the most part, it just feels so nice. And, oh, God, it's just, it's one of my favorite lip balms of the moment. It adds like a tiny bit of, you know, color, but not a lot. I don't know. It feels good. I'm a fan. I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon because it is low. And that is all we can talk about today with Catrice. Let me know which brand you'd like me to do my top five with next in the comments. And let me know what are some of your favorites from Catrice. Do ours intertwine or do you have other favorites? There's definitely other products I like from Catrice. It was definitely hard for me to narrow it down to five, but I felt like these were the top five that stood out to me. So yeah, let me know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.